Okay, I'm going to do a project overview of the Procharged Mopar 360. I got to get on one of them, so I'm going to try to get something done here. Let's go through it. Got a 30 over block. Crank is balanced with the Speedmaster rods. We got some Hastings ductile iron rings bearings standard bearings because i did not have the crank turned undersized because it was good uh, we're going to go with a torker 340 intake or this is a victor 340 small block single plane intake manifold the cams the 233 240 duration and comp cam and it's on a 115 lsa so that'll be good for blower and then with the longer duration it should kick out enough to keep the if it's a rear mount turbo to spool it up and then with the 1.6 rockers roller rockers that i've got it'll be 507 lift intake and exhaust we've got some heads uh, main studs and some head studs uh, MLS gaskets, head gaskets. There's an intake gasket. And here's the flex plate I have to use that was balanced with the uh, balancer. And then I've got this pump. It's a Chinese a pump, but we're gonna do the Mod Father mods to this pump. I'm gonna go watch his video again and see what all he did to that to get it ready. I have a time and chain tensioner for the small block. We're running 30 over KB eutectic pistons, which will up the compression ratio. Got some fully ported 186cc flow 310 intake, uh, 210 exhaust. So we've got plenty of airflow. And we'll be running the Pro Charger to start. I mean, we're only gonna have like, with those heads and it's probably only gonna have five maybe seven psi max with the small pulley because that blower just can't put out i mean suppose it makes it'll make 700 horsepower or so with the flow that it, that it has dial 1200 cfm or something like that but anyway i can't push that blower because it doesn't have a good step up ratio and then for tuning we have the aem wideband gauge which we'll have to use oh and Fuel will be supplied with the with an EV hat and an HPI horsepower innovations E85 blow through carb. And then I've got an Essex 400 pump. I've got a sump on my tank already. Uh, tank sump with two three quarter fittings coming out. So uh, I just got to run new fuel line because that thing's been sitting for what 15, 18 years, 15 years, something like that. And the pump's rebuildable, so if I need to, I can rebuild the fuel pump to get it going. But anyway, um, we'll put the old Magnum EFI thing on the back burner because this stuff here I can throw together and the carb's going to be tuned already. It's bolted on. Make sure it has plenty of fuel going to it. I think I've got a Mallory uh, fuel pressure regulator on the car already. And then uh, we're going to be worried about the transmission and the rear end after that, because I know they're going to blow. <laughs> what you grumping about, Grumpy? Let's go get you a sippy cup. I know. You need the sippy cup, don't you? What are you watching now? Somehow you changed it to the big block build. 454 big it. block. I hey, do you didn't do it? it did it by itself. Oh, it did it by itself? Okay, yeah. let's go get your sippy cup then. We got to go.